everybody. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. As we head towards kickoff, two quarterbacks will be on the field today trying to push their team to victory. It's Trevor Simeon's Broncos going up against Tom Savage's Texans. All right, Larry, thank you very much. It's the National Football League presented by EA Sports. The scene from a few moments ago, this crowd enthusiastically cheering on their Texans as they emerge from the locker room. And we're just about ready for football as the Texans get set to match up with the Denver Broncos. Akeem Hunt now to return. And this return nets positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. First down, it's Watson. And the Broncos get there and take him down. Derek Wolf in there to bury him for a loss of 11. Well, so much for setting the tone of the drive offensively. Giving up a big sack that loses that kind of yardage, not a great start. To throw on second is Watson. Fuller brings it in over the middle. He lost four there, and it's third down. They threw the screen to the perimeter, but to no benefit at all. Tackled behind the line of scrimmage for a loss of yardage. Needs something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Defense really showing respect to the deep ball here, playing off the receivers. Going up top for Miller. And a shot taken on third down, unsuccessful. Fourth down now. Well, we quit counting yardage on that one, didn't we? That was truly third and a mile, wasn't it? It was. I thought they might just go underneath, but they didn't. They wanted to get the first down there. Yeah, they tried to pick up the huge chunk unsuccessfully. I'm with you. I would have tried to take some yardage just to gain some field position. Leckler now on as he'll punt this away. Fielded at about the 28. A terrific return. 30 yards all in all. And it'll be a short field for the Broncos as they take over first and 10. down Simeon looking for Sanders and it's intercepted picked off by Andre Howe and he's going to take this one back to the 37 yard line Texans offense taking the field again as we start to get toward the end of preseason who's it going to be under center is it going to be Watson is it going to be Savage what do you see it's going to be very interesting to see how it all goes down right now I think Tom Savage has the advantage he's the incumbent and he's playing well in the preseason in fact he was eight of nine throwing the ball against New England and accuracy is at a premium in the NFL Deshaun Watson showing flashes but still learning his way three of ten throwing the ball against the Patriots but he did run in a touchdown but you know fans love new shiny toys and sometimes that mentality can eke its way over to the front office yeah I think right now Tom Savage has the advantage but I expect Deshaun Watson to have the job before the year is over Let's go. Watson now gonna run the option right and some room to work through an opening and there he goes touchdown Houston 
touchdown. Deshaun Watson, 53 yards. And the Texans have taken the early lead. Well, plays like that make the O coordinator look like a genius, but I don't think he saw that play going that well. No, I don't think so either. But, boy, it all worked out perfectly. They caught them in the right defense. Guys dropping off into coverage, their eyes averted somewhere else. And guess what? He filled the void with his legs. That'll be taken in the end zone. And all that worked, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. Now the Broncos offense, they get set to head back onto the field. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling. Because a one play drive where you throw an interception, a lot of people think the very next time out, run the football and give them a chance. Maybe play action? I think maybe you go play action, show your quarterback, get a little confidence in it, and let him fling another one. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Seeing that play and understand just how tough it is to cover tight ends, especially the ones running around the NFL nowadays, makes me glad I didn't make it in that league. I would have had a really difficult time. But now you get to sit up here with me. Yeah, and that's fun, isn't it? And what a really nice game right there on first down for them. Brings up a nice second down for them. They'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and that'll lead here to a third down. To throw with Simeon. Found his target. It's Anderson. And he's got a first down as he's up to the 48. Denver has the first down. The play going for 15 yards. We can talk all we want about football being a game of strength and brawn. It's also a game of mismatches. And they're trying to create one there. Getting it to their back out of the backfield to make a bigger play. As we often say, get it to him in space and let him use his leg. Yeah, if he can get a matchup against a linebacker or maybe a defensive end dropping out in a zone blitz, he's going to win that battle just about every time. And he'll be brought down right at midfield after a gain of only a couple. Well, he's looking for some running room, and there wasn't a whole lot of it there on that play. I think he was lucky to get a couple yards out of it. So those defenders, they were rallying to the football pretty quickly. From the 50, it's Simeon. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. It's a lot of contact going on there. And in the end, unable to keep two hands on the football and bring it into his body. Everything looked pretty good until the finish. And the Texans have an extra defender in the secondary now on third down. Now it's the former Texas Longhorn, Jamal Charles with a carry. And he'll get it down here to the 43. A good gain there on third and eight of seven yards. And now a decision here on fourth and one. Back alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. It's Bronco football to begin quarter number two. And we'll see what the decision is here as they've got a fourth and one coming up. Feeling like they're not quite in field goal range yet. They're going to go for it on fourth. They snap it to Simeon. He's got his man here. It's green. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to. Pick up a first down. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. That's very well timed there defensively because it's not a bad throw, but the collision came at the exact time he was reaching to bring in the football. Really, really well done. Decent offense, just better defense. I think you're right. And the eighth play on this drive coming up. Second and ten, sitting it again. Under pressure, and the Texans able to get in there for the sack. 
J.J. Watt able to use that strength and get him for a loss of two. Simeon in need of something big following that sack, facing third and long. From the gun, here's Simeon. Looking for Green, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Kareem Jackson, and he's going to get this one to the 23-yard line. So that's back-to-back -back drives where they've thrown an interception. Ordinarily, we look at the offense and say, what's going on with your scheme? Maybe we should look at the defense and just give them a whole lot of credit. They've got them frustrated right now. They'll start out on the ground. It's Lamar Miller looking to find a lane, but he can't rein in at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. Second down. So nothing there, but maybe you blame that on the blocking. Yeah, at some point, you've got to win at the point of attack. And on that play, that was all the defense. They made it happen. Here's Watson now on second down. Throw left side complete. That's four. And he's brought down after a good game. A good pick up there, 26 yards. From the 50, it's Watson. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Griffin. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. And now the passing game here in the second quarter starting to heat up a little bit. Don't you feel the rhythm starting to happen, right? You see it now. The confidence is starting to rise. I think now as a play caller, because that has happened, you lean on it a little bit more. You don't go totally away from running the football. But you do say, guess what? We can throw it, we can throw it well with a whole lot of confidence. Eight yards to go here on second down. Two minutes remain here in the first half. We're back to Houston after this timeout. On second down, here's Watson. He's letting this one go for Fuller. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Will Fuller was the intended target, and now it's third down. Partner, they're trying to throw the deep ball against a Pro Bowl corner of a year ago. I'm not real good at this stuff, but it seems to me that that would lessen the odds of completing it, wouldn't it? Might want to go to the other side of the field, although that's not any cakewalk either, but I'm with you. Bad guy to target there. In the Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Todd Davis. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, this is a defense that can confuse even the best of quarterbacks with their zone schemes. And here you've got a linebacker that's going to stay at home and just sit down in that zone. And this one basically comes right to him. Here we go now. After the interception, here's Simeon. He throws and he hits the slant route to Thomas. And able to get this one out just shy of the 25 at the 24. That one going for a gain of 11 and a Bronco first down. Simeon on first down. He's going to wind up and air it out. So they took a shot on first down but couldn't connect. The one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown him a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after him. They've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept him on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. Now Simeon. Over the middle, it's Thomas. And he's brought down after a good game. A good pick up there of 20 yards. Thus far, it hasn't been a real fun half for them, but a play like that, that may get them off the schneid a little bit, get them loosened up and moving. Kind of seems like they've been sleepwalking and still sitting on zero points. And it's not always making an adjustment. Sometimes it's just going back to what you know can work and finally getting it done. J.J. Watt makes another tackle there, and, and it's for a minimal gain. And let's face it, if that's all you're going to get running the ball, 
You're not going to have much success against him and his team. Or, yeah, you better find a way to go around J.J. Watt, which isn't easy to do. It's really not because you got to try it. And he's going to go down. The Texans come at him and able to bring him to the ground. Now the Texans are going to stop it as they signal for a timeout. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. Simeon in need of something big following that sack, facing third and long. A shotgun snap for Simeon. And he will have a man, Demarius Thomas. And he takes this one all the way across midfield into enemy territory down to the 40-yard line. First and ten, Simeon. Over the middle, open is Thomas. Now the Broncos going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds to go in the first half. And now the offense operates in the red zone. From the red zone now, Simeon. Now Simeon stripped. He lost the football. And the Texans say they have it. They do. So the defense there, opportunistic. It's nice to give them credit, isn't it? Because so many times it's more a matter of what the offensive guy didn't do. Didn't secure the ball. Didn't cover up. In this case, just give credit to where it belongs. Knocked it free. Made a big play. Following the fumble recovery, Watson flushed out right. He's just going to dump this one off to his fullback out of the backfield. A pickup of 11 and a Texans first down. Looked like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. A first down carry now for Miller. And he'll fight forward maybe to the line of scrimmage, but that's all. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle, that's what we saw right there. Yeah, and that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends, they're like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold them to no gain. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. Here comes the Broncos offensive unit here as they'll have it first to begin this third quarter. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors, but overall I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up. And we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. Now a first down throw. Simeon. Sanders has it over the middle. And down he'll go at the 25. Give him a couple on the catch. It's second and eight. And this hasn't been the typical game, no doubt, for Emmanuel Sanders. They've really limited him. He's one of those players that provides a real spark when he gets going. And when he does it, it's felt by the rest of the team, and they're feeling it in this one because right now they're trailing. To throw on second is Simeon, and he whips one in there complete. That's Demarius Thomas, and they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. That catch good for five. It's third down. The Broncos on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This time it's third and three. Out of the gun, Simeon. And Fowler's got it. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. They get six on the pickup there as the drive will continue. So the offense has it first and 10. Here we go now. Throwing again is Simeon. And incomplete on the deep ball. Emmanuel Sanders, the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. They have not gotten him going at all. Tried to spark something there with a longer throw. Unable to complete it. But you have to keep trying. He's one of their best playmakers. No matter what it says on the scoreboard, you're always trying to get him to flip down. Under pressure, and the Texans able to get in there for the sack. 
Brian Cushing. Tough to handle on that blitz. He gets him for a loss of five. Simeon in need of something big following that sack, facing third and long. Simeon now to throw. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Another drive comes and goes, still nothing on the scoreboard. Yeah, and when the second half comes, you know, it's real easy to get discouraged and wonder if you're ever going to get things started. You just got to fight through it. Got to keep pounding away. So fourth and 15, but the offense is staying out there to go for it. Indeed going for it. Simeon looking for Sanders here on the deep ball. It's caught inside the 25. An unbelievable play there on fourth and long. 49 yards. And they pick up the first down on a fourth down play. I don't know if the defense relaxed because they thought maybe they'd stopped them on third down or if they just didn't protect the sticks very well. But boy, that's a big time pickup right there. And his throw is incomplete. Demarius Thomas, the intended receiver. That'll bring up second down. And we just saw another example. These cornerbacks have played tight coverage all game long. Might start wanting to think about a few double, triple move routes to try and shake their guys free. They have, you're right, they've had no room to burn. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Denver score. Demarius Thomas from 19 yards away. And the Broncos are an extra point away from tying the football game. On here, Brandon McManus for the point after. It's good, and we're all tied at seven apiece. Nothing separating these two teams on the scoreboard as the kick's away here. Fielded about a yard deep. But he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. here on first down and his throw here is incomplete the pro bowler DeAndre Hopkins the intended receiver and it's second down a pretty good coverage there and both of these defenses they've had good coverage throughout this one no doubt about it and in today's NFL where we're used to a bit more scoring this feels almost like a well-pitched game in baseball on both sides where the tension continues to build who's going to make the big play On second down, here's Miller. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. He lost two there, and it's third down. Every year I go to the combine and marvel at the speeds that linebackers are running nowadays. They run like DBs. And let's face it, they know how to finish plays, too. Eyes up, head up, run right through them. third down Watson they'll go screen here to Hunt pushing through tacklers at the 30 23 yards on the pickup there and a first let's give a little credit there the offensive play caller since that the screen pass was available whenever you're getting a lot of heavy pressure towards your quarterback that's when you're thinking about running the screen and using that pressure against the defense and it worked very well there for a first down they go play action here on first down. And he's going to drop this off to his fullback. And he'll take this one in for a Texans touchdown. Jay Prosh, 53 yards. And the Texans have taken the lead. And he wasn't blocking or running it there. They tossed it to him. And you remember the good old days when the 49ers were riding roughshod in the league? They use their fullback in pass plays all the time. Roger Craig, Tom Rathman, those guys were terrific at running these types of plays. This is taken about seven yards deep. 
It'll bring it back to just about the 25. Call it the 24-yard line. And Denver getting set to take the field. They did what they had to do to start this third quarter. Went down, got the touchdown to cut the lead, but the matching touchdown a moment ago, and we're right back where we started at halftime. Yeah, you're exactly right, partner. They had a little bounce in their step after scoring that first touchdown, but the defense gave one up, and that's the problem right now. Can they get better play from their defense while they continue to score on offense? Here's Simeon. He'll air it out deep for Thomas. And it drops down incomplete. Thought he might have had it. Instead, second down. This defense is continuing to contest every deep ball that is thrown downfield. And look, it doesn't matter whether you're playing man or zone. Eventually, that becomes man on man. And you've got to trust yourself and go up at that moment of truth and make a play on the football. Ten yards still left on second down. Now Simeon, looking again for Thomas, this time complete. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Simeon finding Thomas there to give the Broncos a first down. Back now in Houston. It's the Broncos trailing, but they do have possession of the football as we begin quarter number four. Fresh set of downs here. From the gun, here's Chevy. And he's going to go down. The Texans come at him and able to bring him to the ground. Jadevian Clowney able to get in there and drop him for a two-yard loss. Here's Simeon now on second down. Bearing it deep for five. And that's caught inside the 35. And all the way home for a Bronco score. Benny Fowler, 66 yards. And the Broncos are an extra point away from tying the football game. The receivers have been running them ragged. Maybe some tired legs in the secondary. Maybe some tired legs in the pass rush. Didn't get to him. And look what resulted. A touchdown, tie game. They've got a chance to take the lead. Set to go now with the kickoff. These two teams all even again as we continue in this wild fourth quarter. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Out comes a Houston offense as they get set to take over here. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked. But you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Right side caught Fedorowicz. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. Five yards on the catch there. Brings up second down. Well, the strategy was evident there. Get it to your tight end and make it a one-on-one -on -one play with a cornerback. Who's usually going to win that one? The tight end, but not there. Not in this situation. How about the corner defeating that logic and making a really nice tackle? He takes this from the 30 to the 34. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, a guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. Here we go, third and one. Gut check time on both sides. Here we go. They'll try to run for it with Miller. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. Hasn't been his best afternoon on the ground, far from it, but a critical third down conversion. This afternoon just got better. All right, you're exactly right. Hasn't been his best in terms of yardage, but that run there, that's the one your teammates look to you and go, okay, that's what we want from you. That's what we need. Now they have a chance to keep moving forward and a chance to win the game. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. But not to get too overcritical there because he knows what he's doing, but his shoulders looked a little off kilter there when he threw that. I don't think you're being overly critical there. You're just analyzing Black it. Down. and Black He gets down. those shoulders right. That pass Black will go from incomplete Black to complete. Throwing again is Watson. And 
His throw's going to be incomplete. They were trying to get the connection with a former Buckeye, Braxton Miller. And it's third down. One thing I have learned, receivers don't mind high throws so much to the sideline, but do that over the middle to them. And not only are the DBs going to throw a little verbal trash their way, when they get back to the huddle, they have a few words to say to their QB, aren't they? Yeah, hung out to dry a little bit there on the high throw. Luckily fell incomplete. Here's Watson. Under pressure now, Watson, and down he goes. Vaughn Miller in there to get him for a loss of nine, and that'll lead to fourth down. Here's Shane Leckler now. On for his second punt. He'd take a repeat of his first. Time for a break. We'll come back and see how it all shakes out after this. Here's Shane Leckler now as he'll punt it away for the second time. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. Taken in at the 22. A nice job on the return there, 16 yards. And possession will switch, hands first and 10. And Denver getting set to take the field. The last possession, these guys were able to tie the game with a touchdown, and now they'll have a chance to move out in front. Yeah, let's give a big assist to the defense who got the ball back. The special teams went out there, handled things. They've got it. They've got momentum. I know they're eager to get out there and put it on display. Simeon. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. That one going for a gain of 11 and a Bronco first down. Now you're right on the edge of field goal range. You've still got time, but get up to the line of scrimmage and get set. Simeon. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Brian Cushing in there to record another sack. Their sixth of the afternoon. Now Simeon. There's that man again, Demarius Thomas. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Well, they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. Simeon now to throw. Thomas has got it. Complete. And he takes this one down all the way near the 30. It's a gain of 20 and picking up the first. Okay, there's three timeouts left, right? Think you got to use one here, don't no you? No doubt about it. I'd use one right here. Simeon on first down. And this is caught at the 8. And he is into the end zone for a Denver touchdown. Virgil Green in the final minute. And the Broncos have broken the tie. Did you see them hold up four fingers to the start of the fourth quarter? They were ready. They were definitely ready. They may or may not have done that, but they certainly have played that way. The fourth quarter has belonged to them, and now the lead belongs to them as well. McManus on to kick this one off. This is taken just shy of the 10 here. And he breaks it all the way out to the 38-yard line. Great return. The Texans offense now. They get set to head back onto the field. One possession game. <laughs> Time very much a factor. How does the offense handle this situation? Well, in a lot of cases, they should be somewhat relaxed. And I know that's counterintuitive because this is a pressure situation. But this is Friday practice every week of the season. You go over this situation, having to go downfield, limited timeouts, got to get out of bounds and keep the drive going and set yourself up. Defensively, you can't just lay back and let them do whatever they want. So it is a cat and mouse deal here. How much pressure will the defense bring and how much pressure can the offense handle? We're going to find out. 
Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that will be incomplete with a clock showing 18 seconds now to go. These are the spots, this stage of the game, where it pays to have speed on the perimeter, doesn't it? It certainly does. And in the second quarter, he may very well have run by him. But in this situation, I know as a defender, I'm loosening up a couple of extra steps that allowed him to run with him stride for stride. He'll look to throw. And he's going to go out of bounds. He takes this one down shy of the 20. Texans passing game in rhythm right now, picking up another first. That's what they need right now. Get the first down, get out of bounds, stop the clock. Just playing smart football, understanding the situation, making the plays necessary, and making sure that clock stops at every opportunity. And he doesn't quite make it. They do stop him, but he gets it all the way down to the one. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Here we go. On first and goal, they'll try the option left. And maybe the wrong read there as he's going to go down immediately. And we will get a timeout with two ticks left. throw here for Watson and this is incomplete so no miracles here on the final play and this ball game is over well no doubt an electrifying finish to have it down inside the 10 yard line that final shot though they couldn't get it in the end zone